What's going on everybody? I've got to be honest with you guys, I did not think I was going to have to make this video again. I've done things like this in the past, I've learned from them, and we'll talk about them here in a little bit. What am I talking about? Canva! Oh, oh, oh buddy! I was at work last night, and uh, I got this email that I want to go through with you guys. So this is basically going to be a how to handle copyright strike situations, not copyright claims, which are a totally different thing that we'll talk about in a later video. So here's the email that I got from YouTube. Your video has been taken down from YouTube. How to cancel Canva premium subscriptions. Hi, Noble Arcade. Also, this is for my original channel, not the channel that you guys are watching right now, which is now completely a tutorial based channel. It says, Hi Noble Arcade, we received a copyright removal request for your video based on applicable copyright law. We removed your video from YouTube. And the video title is How to Cancel Canva Premium Subscriptions. It's got the URL, which no one can see now because it's been removed by Canva. The content used was Canva software from www.canva.com. This is going to be important later, okay? The content found in the video links, which is the video link here, the removal request was issued by Canva, the company itself. And they give me their contact information as well. This means that your video can no longer be viewed on YouTube and I did receive a copyright strike. Now, I have to tell you guys, first off, I've never gotten a copyright strike on this channel. This is not my first channel. I've been doing YouTube for a while. This is not my first rodeo. Now I have gotten strikes before and I can quickly explain that to you. Way back in the day, whenever Skyrim was a thing, there was this uh, pre-alpha build of some DLC that was coming out. Some people had access to it, I did not. I had a friend that I had take pictures and take video and I uploaded that to my channel. It got a butt ton of views, it was very popular and I got a copyright strike for that because it was under NDA. Now for that, I knew that I was in the wrong. I did something wrong and I took the punishment, I took the strike, whatever. That channel is no longer available, but I've learned from that and I've never gotten a copyright strike on any of my channels since then, up until today. So uh, that's an issue that we have to resolve, obviously. If we go to my YouTube channel dashboard, we will see here, and again, this is just kind of a walkthrough of what we're gonna be doing to fight a copyright claim, a quote unquote legitimate, even though that's, uh, we'll talk about that here in a bit. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna show your channel violations. You can click on this thing. When you receive a strike, it can be one of two types. Copyright strikes are issued when we remove content because a copyright owner sent us a complete and valid legal request asking us to do so, or community guidelines, which is not as important, but they are issued whenever we remove content because it violates YouTube's community guidelines. This includes, but is not limited to instances of nudity, sexual content, violence, graphic content, harmful or dangerous content, or spam. So that's totally fine. We can click on this and that brings this page up for our copyrights. Now, in order to get rid of this copyright strike, I would have to attend copyright school, which again, I've done in the past. It's not a fun process. But it says we have one copyright strike. We received a copyright removal request for your video based on applicable copyright law. We removed your video from YouTube. As a result, your video was removed from YouTube and your channel has a strike. If you get three copyright strikes, your channel, along with any associated channels, will be subject to removal. I understand all that. Everything is good. Now, here's what we can do. You can do nothing and the strike will expire after 90 days as long as you complete copyright school or you can request a retraction, you can contact the claimant directly and ask them to withdraw their complaint. Or you can submit a counter notification. A counter notification is a legal request asking YouTube to reinstate the video that has been incorrectly removed for copyright infringement. Now this is gonna be what's important because this is what we're gonna do. A lot of people will not go this route because they hear the word legally binding or it's gonna involve legalese and stuff like that and they are afraid of it. However, I am not and I don't really have a lot to lose and it's the principle of the matter. 
they issued a copyright strike on a video that is titled how to cancel Canva premium subscriptions. And I'm guessing that they probably didn't like that content. There's nothing in the video that was bad. I actually say very good things about Canva. I use Canva all the time. I've been pay a paid member for uh, uh, two years, two and a half years now, and I even pay for the team's membership. So that means I pay for myself as well as my wife and a few other teammates that we have that are able to use the software. My guess is they didn't like the fact that I'm showing people how to unsubscribe and not get automatic subscription renewals. So that's all fine and dandy. So the first thing that we have an option to do is to request a retraction. And uh, it says that we can co contact them directly. We do have a email from them. Uh, I forget where exactly it's located, but I got it. And I'm, 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 I'm showing you guys everything just so that everything is out in the open. I put uh, the email, I sent it to who, who I was supposed to send it to. It says, hi there, my name is Victor. I just woke up to an email from YouTube stating that Canva has taken down my video, which shows users how to unsubscribe from the premium version. On its own, like I said, it would be fine if I had done something wrong. However, in this case, it is just a tutorial showing users how they can cancel their automated subscriptions and resubscribe at a time that is more convenient for them. For reference, I've attached the email below. I didn't even say anything bad as I just talked about here um, about the company. As a matter of fact, I'm an active user and I have been for the past couple of years. I even pay for the team's version of the software. As stated in the email, which again, I attach that here so that they know exactly what I'm talking about, has all the information that they need. As stated in the email, the reason for the strike is also kind of suspect. It states that the reason for the takedown was that I used Canva software at canva.com. That's a little silly because if that's the company stance, then every channel, which is a Canva centric channel and makes tutorials for Canva should be subject to the same strike per video and would have to issue these strikes as well as have the channels removed from YouTube. I suspect that the removal request might simply be based on the title and the subject matter of possibly losing a few paying customers, which again is understandable. Canva is a company and the company is there to make money. However, striking down videos because you don't like the content is not cause for copyright removal request. And it leaves a really bad taste in my mouth as a paying customer. So I'm writing you this email to ask for a retraction on your strike. I'll submit a request ASAP. Thank you for taking the time to read this and I hope you have a great week. A slightly irked, but still happy Canva user. So everything's there, everything's good. We're not getting upset. We're not bashing them or anything like that. And again, I'm happy with Canva. Canva is totally fine. I use it to make most of my YouTube thumbnails. So it's, I have nothing against Canva. I do have issue with the principle that they don't like that I'm showing people how to unsubscribe from a service, which I, I do for every service that I use. And they issued a copyright strike for that reason. So I've already sent the email. Now I do want to show you guys this because this is important. It says submit a copyright counter notification. If your content was removed due to a copyright removal request and you believe it's because of a mistake or misidentification, you can submit a counter notification. This is a legal request for YouTube to reinstate the content that was removed due to a copyright removal request. Now it says, keep in mind, only submit a counter notification if your content was removed due to a mistake or misidentification. This includes exceptions to copyright, such as fair use, which is what my video falls under, or fair dealing. If your content doesn't fit the criteria above, you can wait 90 days for the copyright strike to expire, and you can also try to get in touch with the claimant directly in order to request a retraction. Now it does say, do not submit false information. Misuse of our process, such as submitting fraudulent documentation, may result in the termination of your account or other legal consequences. Now here's where I have an issue. Not with anything on my part, and of course I would say that, right? I'm the person that has a strike, but it's also illegal for people to issue false copyright takedowns. You're not supposed to be able to do that. People do all the time, especially large companies, large corporations, and especially whenever you're a smaller channel. Now this channel is very, very small, but the channel that they're striking is still pretty small. It's only got 18,000 subscribers, but big corporations will often do this because they feel like they can scare you into a, like, okay, I'm not going to say anything bad about you and stuff like that. 
but it just irks me that that companies do this to to try to silence people and stuff like that and it's something that that they should show people it's something that they should allow people to do if you subscribe to something you should just as easily be able to unsubscribe and beyond all that like i said in the email which is right here they're issuing me a a takedown because as they say here i used canva software if that were the case there are so many people that make Canva tutorials that they would have to claim as well, but that's just not the way it works. All these people are, are making content for Canva essentially for free and they're kind of praising Canva. Now, again, I probably still will make tutorials for Canva showing you guys how to do stuff. I think it's a really good software. I have no issues with that. Beyond that, there are tons of channels simply dedicated to nothing but Canva. If they're going to copyright strike me because i'm using canva.com they would have to legally do the same thing or open themselves up to a countersuit from me which is a lose-lose situation that's it's it's just not smart business that's everything that i've got to show you there now in order to go ahead and do something with the copyright strike we have to actually select an action so again you can copyright the claimant which i've already done i showed you guys the email and then we can submit a counter notification. A counter notification is a legal request to reinstate the removed video. It takes up to 10 business days and I'll tell you guys right now exactly what's gonna happen. They will wait until the 10 business days are up if they're not going to do anything about it. And then they will put the video back up or they will cancel it immediately and go into pursuing legal action. One of those things is gonna happen and I'll keep you guys updated on which one of those it is. So, a counter notification is a legal request to reinstate a removed video. It takes up to 10 business days for the final decision by the claimant. By filing a counter notification, you begin a legal process. Again, this is why most people don't do this, but I've done nothing wrong. I use their software just like everybody else does. I made a video using their software just like everybody else does, and my video falls under fair use. I am 100% confident in all of these things, so I'm going to click on submit a counter notification and click on continue. Now it says processing time, typically one to two days for YouTube's review, 10 business days for the channel's claim. You are beginning a legal process. A counter notification is a legal request for YouTube to reinstate a video that has been removed for alleged copyright infringement. What to expect? Submit counter notification, fill out the form carefully so that we have everything that we need to start the process reviewed it by YouTube will review your counter notification and if we think it's complete we'll forward it to the claimant review by claimant if your counter notification is forwarded to the claimant they'll have 10 business days to review if they don't provide evidence that they've taken le that they've taken legal action against you your video will be restored final outcome will send you an email to let you know the final outcome so other options, alternatively, you can wait for the strike to expire in 90 days as long as you've completed the copyright school. I understand the implications of filing a counter notification and I want to proceed. I'm gonna click on that and we're going to continue. So here we go with our full legal name. And I'm not sure how much of this you can see. Um, obviously, a lot of this stuff is personal, so I'll probably block it out. But just know that I'm doing my best to be honest and upfront with you guys here. So I'm putting everything the way you're supposed to put it, right? You also have to put in your email. You have to select your country, United States. You have to put your street address as well as your city and your state and your zip code. Okay, so we have filled everything that we need to fill out here. So we're gonna hit continue. Rationale, oh God, I'm basically gonna say the exact same thing that I said in the email. Okay, so it took me a little while to be able to write all this stuff out, but we're gonna go through it real quick just so that you guys know exactly what's going on. Uh, so why should your video be reinstated? I received a copyright strike for a video that shows users how to cancel their premium subscriptions. There was nothing bad said about the company. I simply show users how to cancel their automatic renewal so that they can resubscribe at a time that is more convenient for them. The claim was that I used Canva software from canva.com and that is the reason for the claim. If this is the case, I will concede. However, there are many, many other videos from Canva users that do the exact same thing, which is use Canva software. So if this is the case, I'd expect us all to get strikes and have our channels removed. I suspect that the reason for the takedown 
I suspect that the reason for the takedown was the title and the subject matter of the video, which is still which still falls under fair use. Therefore, I am requesting that my strike be removed so that I can continue to make more great content for and about Canva and all its use case scenarios. Thank you for taking the time to read this. So that's everything that I've got there. Now, again, this is where people kind of chicken out from this. Under the penalty of perjury, I have a good faith belief that the material was removed or disabled as a result of a mistake or misidentification. Yes. I consent to the jurisdiction of the federal district court for the district in which my address is located, or if my address is outside of the United States, the judicial district in which YouTube is located and will accept service of process from the claimant. Yes. I understand that filing fraudulent counter notifications may result in termination of my YouTube account. Yes. So after that, you just have to put your full legal name here. So let's do that. And then once you've got that, you are all done. All you have to do is click on submit. And after that, this pops up. It says your counter notification has been submitted. Your counter notification has been submitted to YouTube for review. If accepted, we will forward the full notice of the claimant who requested the removal of your videos. The claimant will then have 10 business days to review your counter notification. If they don't provide proof of a court action against you, your videos will be reinstated. We'll send you an email to let you know of the final outcome. You can also follow the status in the video's copyright claim details. So I'm going to close that and close this. Now, one thing that people do all the time, I see this all the time, they can actually get their video back, but because they are fearful, because they're afraid they did something wrong, they wanted to fight the claim and stuff like that, but they'll go and delete that video. Now, the video is still here somewhere, as you guys can see, I just can't play it. It's still available on the channel. YouTube can still put it back up, but if you go and find that video and delete it, there is no, uh, there is no evidence of your video. Therefore, there's no evidence of your claim. And furthermore, you're going to stay stuck with that strike. And now you can't fight it at all because the video no longer exists. So whatever you do, do not delete that video. If you're going to file a copyright strike removal request. Now, now, as I said, one of two things is going to happen here. Either they're going to be, and I hate to say it, I've been holding a lot of stuff back, but either they're going to be dicks and they're going to say, no, this is the way it's going to go. We're going to go to court, which again, would not be a really good look for them. Um, and it would cost me a lot of money, but that's one option that they could do. Or the other option, and what I suspect is going to happen is they will not fight it, but they also won't remove the copyright strike immediately. Usually what happens is they're going to wait the full 10 days and just forget about it. And then I won't have a strike. My video will be reinstated and that'll be the end of it. But the thing that irks me so much about this is that they're huge companies. And I'm not even saying that Canva does this all the time. I'm not talking about Canva in specific. I'm saying huge companies, huge corporations will usually just issue copyright strikes and then forget about them because a lot of the times they're not going to fight them in court um, unless they know that they're going to win. But a lot of times they'll just forget about them and forget about you, the channel. They, they have no idea who I am. I'm still a r relatively small channel. I'm not taking food out of their mouths or money out of their pockets or anything like that, but they've already issued the copyright strike. They feel good about it. Now that I've issued my copyright removal request, they don't really have to do anything. They can just wait those 10 days out. They don't even have to read the email. They don't have to file anything else or anything like that. All they have to do is just forget about it. And if they don't do anything, if they don't want to fight it, then they can just go on with their lives. Meanwhile, I'm stuck with a copyright strike. Uh, other users would be stuck with copyright strikes. And if you get three of them, everything that you've worked towards is just gone, just like that. So. Let this be a warning to any Canva users. Uh, it's not going to happen. The majority of Canva users, as I said, are making really good content. And I actually use some of these tutorials myself. These tutorials have helped me out. And again, I have nothing bad to say about Canva. I think Canva is a great service. That's why I pay for it. But I think it's bullshit that they can just issue things like that because they don't like the content. Of course, they're going to like um, how to edit videos in Canva for beginners and stuff like that. But as soon as they see something that's like how to cancel your premium subscription, they're like, oh no, 
we might lose a couple of bucks. Some people might unsubscribe. We're gonna put a strike on that channel. That to me is a bunch of bullshit and it's, it's just kind of messed up, you know? So with that said, I know this is a longer video. I try my best to not make long videos like this. I try to keep the, I try to keep things short and sweet. But with that said, I will give you guys an update in what I suspect is probably going to be 10 or 11 days. And uh, hopefully that video will be back. Also, if they say no, we're going to court, I will definitely update you guys on that as well. So wish me luck. And with all that said, if you found anything in this video informative or helpful, please consider subscribing. This is still a brand new channel. We are under 500 subs and uh, yeah, we could definitely use your help. So. I hope you all have a good week, a good weekend, a good day, or a good night, and I will see you on the next video.